What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to some more Cold War. Finally, do have season one of Cold War and Warzone. We got the new battle pass. We got some new prestiges. We got the new dark matter camo. We have some new weapons. We have the COD store back. We have raid back. Um, we also do have Nuketown, a holiday 24-7. I haven't played anything yet. I did go and purchase the Battle Pass bundle or whatever. Uh, I'm not really too big on the uh, Call of Duty Battle Pass like I am in Fortnite because this game is just, I don't know. The only thing you really get good out of it is um, the double XP, in my opinion. But you can get yourself some cool calling cards and emblems and stuff like that. If you guys are into that, you get COD points and stuff. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Some cool operator. That's another thing I really like, too, is like the operator styles. Um, there ain't really too much that are really cool you get some new watches some new charms uh we get some new uh 80s rock vehicle tracks and stuff like that i know it's pretty cool you get some new weapon variants hopefully these weapon variants don't ruin the game like how modern warfare did uh to where if you just go to the store over here you just purchase a gun that has like tracer rounds and shit like that hopefully it doesn't ruin the game i think with this game they're uh taking the approach to where if you buy it for the gun it only gives you like a certain camel for the gun and like look at the design on this ak it gives you like a cool design and it gives you like attachments for it that you probably don't have leveled up or something like that which i don't know how you couldn't if you're already this far into the game aesthetics and the looks of the gun it doesn't really make it too crazy at all i really can go much into more of the battle pass i do know that we are going to have some new operators coming soon as well so we have bulldozer this is pretty cool and then we also do have uh zina zina it's pretty cool. I dig her. I like her hat. And then the competitor. Wow, this guy is clean, dude. Look at him. I can't wait for this guy. He looks sick. The new operators that are going to be coming into the game. Now, I don't know if we have any new weapons. I do know that they accidentally leaked out and put um, new weapons in the game, such as like swords, a new shotgun. I think the only thing we we're supposed to get was a, um, a new SMG, which is the MAC-10. And then something else. I don't know. When they add these new guns, I don't think if you're going for like Dark Matter right now and you're free been going for it, I don't think you're going to have to get the MAC-10 uh, gold uh, to unlock the rest of them. I just think you have to just do the original uh, weapons. And then if you want to, it's just a choice and option to do um, the MAC-10. Yeah, so you don't have to unlock gold for any of like the new DLC weapons. You just have to unlock gold for the base standard weapons to unlock diamond. Um, so like it says 05, now we have six SMGs because the MAC-10 is now in the game. So you only have to do like the ones that were at launch. It doesn't make it do the DLC guns. Uh, that's just an option if you want to do them in the future to get a Dark Matter or Diamond if you want to. So did see that they did update Dark Matter. It does look way better. You can't really see the gold. Uh, they made it look more brown piss brown kind of color now and then the diamond you can't see it really that good on my screen I, you guys can barely see it too but dark matter ultra looks way better than what it did at launch i i i really cannot wait to get this thing that's the only thing i think about when i'm at work or whatever i just want to just grind it and get this camo so bad Ooh, so this is the new uh nuketown holiday playlist they made this look really cool inside of the uh the sequence screen here is my first game on the new nuketown holiday they put a lot of detail into this oh my god i'll say it good job to track now i don't really know if i really care about the uh the nighttime aspect of the game but it gives it a whole new uh vibe and stuff like that so i'm not really gonna complain about it too much also did see that that mag 10 that smg is kind of insane i've been seeing people um on twitch and making clips with that thing on warzone and stuff like that that thing seems like it's gonna be a little overpowered but there's not really much that we could do about it we just gotta take advantage of all the stuff that we possibly can but before they start like nerfing stuff and people start complaining about stuff a little too much but they did a really good job in this map man they made it feel like uh it's like a whole new game you know it just feels clean working on this last lmg right now i just have to finish this lmg out and then i have to finish the uh the uh other one and then i will be good to go holy fuck i did hear that they they took skill-based matchmaking out but it don't feel like they did because i am just getting straight destroyed right now uh i just need to get these flash kills and then i am good oh nice little three piece right there nice one for the four. Ooh, come on Ooh, I almost just got the fifth right there. I should get these flash kills and I'll be good to go for this uh, gun. Oh my fucking, look at this guy. Watch how many times he jumps with it. Look, what, oh yeah, yep, yeah, keep jumping, keep jumping. Nice, nice, nice. I don't think kill confirm should be in a new town playlist just because how bad the spawns are in uh, the respawn game mode. Really, just domination is literally the only thing that's not fucked up on, I feel like. How come every time when I go to challenge one person, the rest of the team feels like they just need to come out and just fucking. Yeah, stay right there, stay right there. Yeah, yeah it's easy, it's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, the faster and the sooner I get done with these LMGs, uh, the faster I can just move on to the other guns. I really like this nuke town. I just gotta take some time to get used to it, and I'm just getting straight destroyed right now. 
Dude, that guy, that guy was animalistic. What the fuck? Fucking God. This guy. This bitch. Hey, look at him. Dude, can you not just sit up there like a little fucking bitch? Oh, these kids are playing it like this is a freaking CDL World Champs match. Holy shit. Like, buddy, chill. I, like, I know it's a new season and all, and I know you guys want to get your double XP and get your freaking games in and shit, but goddamn, y'all don't need to be sweating on me when I haven't played this game in, like, two days. When I seen people saying that they took out skill-based matchmaking, I was like, are you are you dumb? I chuckled a little bit. I started laughing. I was like, dude, fuck. No, they didn't. Yeah, that was my first map of the holiday nuke town. This game is going to be really sweaty the first week of the new season and stuff like that, so there's nothing really I can really do about it. I'd be doing the same thing if I had the time to be doing this right now. I'd be grinding for that prestige. Uh, I'm pretty sure you do level up pretty quick because I'm already level six. I only played one game. The cool thing, I think you can get to like prestige seven. I'm pretty sure something like that. I'll, I'll reach it pretty quick. I'm right by the little uh, the news tab or whatever. It says battle pass own 10% XP boost. Now, I wonder if that will go up the more tiers you the higher tiers that your um battle pass is this does say i have four uh tokens so i have double xp double weapon xp and then uh an hour of double xp as well so i'm not really gonna use any of these right now just because like like i said i need to actually play like the whole hour and i don't got time to be playing a whole hour right now i wish i did but this is gonna be a pretty fun season i can't wait till i have uh time on my days off to actually play this uh like i said i'm gonna be gone during this weekend so that kind of sucks because I really just want to play this game. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys new. I really do appreciate it. I know this is going to be a short one. I'm sorry. Uh, I got stuff I got to do. I got to go to work here in about a couple hours. So I got to get this video up for you guys. I really do enjoy this. It's really fun. They added prop hunt as well. So I hope you guys do a wonderful night and I'll see you guys later.